Hello, I am Sven. This tutorial, we are going to add options to your product. So, as you can see here, I have a site and I'm selling a t-shirt in this example. And we have some options, some color options and some size options. I'm going to show you how to set up the gallery so you can go through the different colors to have a look. Also, you can select a color and a size. It will then give a price and you can add to the cart. As you can see, when you make different options, you get the image changes depending on the selection that you make. And also for my example here, as you can see, this one is 80, this one is 110. Each combination of the options that you choose can have its own image and can have its own um, pricing. Okay, let's get started. We're gonna to go to products and we're gonna first go to attributes. Now this is where we're going to set up the option choices that were gonna be used, for example, the colors and the sizes. So this is, if you haven't uh, seen my video on attributes, you can go and watch that for a more detailed um, way that I do this. I'm just going to run through quickly uh, for the colors and the sizes. So we just type in color and that's color added and sizes and that's the size as it added. Now we just add the options. So the color we're going to have red, blue, green and yellow. Oh, edit yellow, date. Uh, back to colors, sorry about that. Um, and we want to edit the sizes. We're going to have small, medium, and large. Now I'm going to want them to change the order of this, so I'm just going to drag and drop to small, medium, and large. <coughs> okay, now we can go to our product, the t-shirt, and by default it selects the simple product, but we don't want a simple product, we want a variable product, and we need to add the attributes that we've just set up, so we're going to add the color, and we're going to add all the colors, so we're going to add the blue, the green, the red, and the yellow and we want to we want them to be visible on the product page and we also we also want to use them for the variation and we want to do the size use for variation we want the small we want the medium and we want the large now we can add them for the variations so here, it has a great feature here to create variations from all attributes. And what this will do is if you select this and press go, it creates all the combinations for you. So it will create a small red product. It will create a medium green product. All the possible combinations that you can use. So we're definitely going to want to use this. And as you can see, it's added 12 variations, which makes sense because we have four options of uh, colors and we have three options of sizes. Now, because I have 12, I'm going to add each one individually. I'm going to add an image for this combination and I'm also going to add um, a pricing for these uh, com uh, this variation. If you have many, 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 many variations and you have lots of products, you can use a spreadsheet to set up all your products and all the variations and then you can import them into WooCommerce. There is an extension called the CSV Product Import extension. I'll leave a link to that in the description of this video. 
Um, but for this example with 12 variations, I can do this by hand. And I'm simply so I'm simply going to add the image blue. Yes. And oops. And I'm gonna start with this one is gonna be ten dollars. Uh, I'm gonna set these all up for all my options here. I'm gonna use the same one. You can use it, you could use a different image, but I'm gonna use the same one here. 20. It's going to take a minute. Um, 30. Green. This one's going to be 40. Green. I hope I'm not boring everybody here. I could edit this out, but I think I'll leave it in. Uh, what are we up to? 60. Red. Variation. This combination is going to be 70. The red medium is going to be. Um, 80. Ninety. We're nearly there. <laughs> Yellow. It's going to be a hundred and ten. Wait. No. No. One hundred. And the last one here, yellow variation, 120. Save changes. OK, let's have a look at see how this looks. OK, so choose an option, blue. And I also need to choose a size so that it makes the full uh, combination so that is a, like a proper variation. And yeah, there we go. We have the image that is associated with the blue small combination. And it's $10. Let's try yellow and medium is $110. And then you can add to the cart. Now, what you will have noticed I'll just refresh this again, is there's no main image and there's no gallery images here. So let's go back and check that. It's very easy to add them. Set product image. We'll start. We'll have the base one to be green. And we're going to add some extra images. I'm going to add that one. And that one. And we'll have that one update. Okay, let's have a look at that here. Good. Now we have the light box gallery of the different options. And we also have our selections here for the customer to choose what they want, and they will see exactly what they're getting here. So this is how to set up a variation. You'll notice here that these are drop-down options. They're not what I showed you at the start, which were little, what we call swatches or images. By default, WooCommerce will show the options like this. And for a lot of stores, that is all that you need. Um, you don't necessarily need to change the images or the you don't need to have the little colored options. However, in my opinion, for quite a few stores, it looks a lot better to have the colors. So you can see here, this looks a lot nicer when you have the options like this. Um, this would also work with, for example, a jewelry store. If you have um, a different, maybe you have a ring and a different, you have different shapes of 
maybe the diamond is different shapes so you could have another option down here for shapes and when the when the customer clicked on that it would show a different image you'd also have different colors of diamonds and maybe different sizes of diamonds to enable this with this extra feature you would use um, what it's a paid extension uh, obviously you don't have to use it uh, I just think it's a good addition for any uh, site that uses colors and shapes and it is called the images and swatches and images extension uh, I'll leave a link to it in the description if you want to check it out uh, also what I will do is I will make a tutorial after this one that shows how to set up all the different swatches and all the different images so as you can see here I've just added a color I've not actually added an image these are actually images and you if for example if you're using a jewelry store you could do you could show little images of the different types of rings and you can make these images as big or as small as you like as well um, but like I say I'll show that in the next video of how to set that up if you have any problems or uh, need any help just uh, ask me in the comments and I'll try to help you out okay thank you very much uh, Bye-bye.